everyone. Today I'm with our software architect, Mr. Ali, um, and I have more technical questions uh, about the application. So how does the development team work? Uh, the development team uh, has a, a technical leader mm -hmm. who distributes uh, the tasks with them and works with them closely and reviews their work. Um, it is very important for us to uh, work on a regular schedule, uh, meaning we, we try to produce uh, um, quality software every 10 working days. And that may change slightly from uh, project to project, but it's uh, usually around uh, 10 working days. Uh, we typically enter a feature freeze at the end of mm -hmm. the seventh uh, workday, and for three days we do our uh, internal QA process, mm -hmm. at the end of which uh, we uh, produce a demo for the uh, customer or whoever might be interested uh, to uh, play with and uh, return their feedbacks to us. Um, that's, uh, I think, our most important principle. Of course, there are many quality principles, but that's that's the one producing um, regular uh, quality uh, products, demos, is uh, very important to us. Uh, generally, it's uh, uh, your typical um, agile uh, system. And in, in, in particular, it's the rational unified process that we follow most closely. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a your typical backlog, uh, the product manager and with some input from the technical guys work on the backlog and prioritize it. So um, the tools you're using uh, includes Jira platform? Uh, that's right. It, it doesn't have to be Jira in particular, uh, but uh, for this project in particular, yes, yes we are in uh, specifically. We are working with uh, Jira to um, list our uh, issues mm -hmm. and work on our backlog, uh, plan our sprints, and Jira produces uh, some nifty little uh, reports, graphs that are just uh, enough uh, for our managers uh, to uh, see what's going on generally at a glance, you know, without spending uh, going into too much detail. Uh, so it's a good tool for us. And it has integrations with uh, many other tools mm -hmm. uh, that are widely used in the industry. Uh, Bitbucket, for instance, uh, and several other things. Um, if you uh, manage your code, code, your repository, Git repository in Bitbucket, then the issues and the uh, Git branches can be associated with each other. So those are the pr um, tools on the project management side. And we have uh, on the development side, of course, uh, the, there are uh, other things. Um, for occasionally, for some architectural graphs, mm -hmm. we use Lucid charts, mm. uh, yeah, which is just uh, another one of the most standard uh, industry tools, and perhaps a little bit of uh, enterprise architect. Mm -hmm. Uh, from Spark Systems. Um, and the sprint usually takes around 15 days or when do you close your sprints? Yeah, we the, the rule is 7 plus 3, meaning 7 work days okay, that's why of said development, time. at which point we enter a feature freeze and 3 work days, uh, days of QA, so that makes a total of 10 work days. Mm -hmm. And if, if there aren't any uh, holidays in between, yes, that works out to uh, two weeks, which I have found is the sweet spot in uh, iteration length. Uh, some teams tend to prefer weekly development, mm -hmm. some go to monthly, but both have their uh, pluses or minuses. I think on balance uh, the, the best length I have found for many teams is, is the two week okay. or the 10 work day cycle. And um, I know you mentioned, but can you uh, specify more about how you prioritize your tasks? Um, in general, uh, when you look at the overall project, uh, the 
fundamental principle is to prioritize riskier issues mm -hmm. and those that are found to be uh, more important uh, by the marketing side. So we ask our technical guys to point, uh, to assign risk points to the issues and we ask the product managers and the marketing uh, kind of people to assign uh, marketing points mm -hmm. and so we kind of multiply them or you know sort of create some sort, sort of index out of them mm -hmm. and work uh, based on that. That's our general principle but of course at any point the product manager can jump in and um, override uh, certain things as he wishes uh, but in general this, this system works pretty well by following that uh, we reduce the, the risk of uh, the, the project uh, failing in spectacular fashion toward the end of it after all you know a year-long development finding out that some there was some uh, terrible architectural problem toward the end mm -hmm. We try to handle all those uh, probable problem spots at the beginning, so that if, if there turns out to be a problem, we know it as soon as possible. You know, before spending a million dollars on it. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, and how does your release cycle work exactly? Our release cycle, um, well, the iterations are, uh, as I said, two week uh, iterations. Um, and at the other extreme, we always try to uh, convince our, uh, the uh, product manager on a, a set of requirements that define a minimum viable product. Mm -hmm. And that's typically all we concentrate on, to reach the minimum viable product successfully. Mm -hmm. uh, and beyond that, um, it's really uh, up to the, the product guys uh, to define uh, the releases. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, uh, beyond the iterations, uh, at a, a slightly more uh, coarser view, we, we think of the risk stage and uh, the stage, uh, unified process calls that the elaboration mm -hmm. stage, and at the stage in which the risks are mostly behind but you still have to do all this uh, build uh, the actual stuff having left behind uh, the, the risky stuff and toward the end uh, you, you need to get ready to uh, think of the details uh, in terms of the user it's called the transition period mm -hmm. uh, in today's world with everything being uh, continuously integrated and continuously delivered on the cloud there is less and less risk with respect to the transition period. Yeah. But uh, so very roughly, you can think of uh, the as a milestone, uh, the point where the risk uh, period ends. The the set of r the riskiest architectural use cases ends is, is is an important milestone for us. Yeah. And after that, uh, it's uh, pretty much a straight run toward the MVP. And after that, it depends on uh, the product manager's views and the customer's feedback mm -hmm. based on the MVP. All right. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank, uh, you. thank you, everyone, for watching this video. And bye. Yeah.